So the question here is, are squares of different sizes always similar? And I guess the two approaches to take this are to look at the angles, right, and the, the side lengths, because when you're looking at similarity, right, all of the corresponding angles need to be equal, right? That's the first requirement. And the second requirement is that all of the sides are in a constant proportional uh, ratio. And squares are just wonderful examples of this, right? So with our first square, let's say, whatever size it is, we know that all of the angles inside the square need to be 90 degrees, because altogether we have 360 degrees. And any square that we draw, no matter how large or small, assuming I am drawing perfect squares right here, will have, right, those right angles and add 360 degrees. So since all the angles are going to be equal in these in these um, squares, we know they're similar, right? By default, it doesn't matter how you draw large, how large or small you draw them, all the corresponding angles are going to be equal. So for example, if this is angle A, we call this A prime, right? Those angles match. Let's say we call this B, and this angle over here, B prime. Those corresponding angles, both in the upper right corner here, um, are equal. Let's call this angle C and angle C prime, right? Those angles are equal. And angle D here and D prime, those angles are corresponding and equal. But you know what was nice about the square? You could turn it any way. All of the angles correspond to each other. They're all equal. Another way to think about what's, what's happened with the square is that the sides are in a the constant proportional relationship. So let's say this is a 4 by 4 square. And over here, this is an 8 by 8. Well, if I multiply each side in the first square by 2, I get the sides 8 and 8 over here. So multiplying corresponding sides, right? So AD to A prime, D prime. Multiply that by 2, I get 8. And here, DC to D prime, C prime. Multiply that by 2, I get 8, and so forth. In that way, they're all proportional, and therefore they're similar. Also, the ratio between two sides, so 4 over 4, that ratio is 1. 8 over 8 is 1 as well, because all the sides of a square are equal. Take the ratio of A and two sides, and you get 1. So the square is just a wonderful shape, because no matter how you look at it, uh, you can easily show that, yes, they must always be similar, regardless of their total area or perimeter. Thanks.